up? I'm the Mac News, and today... Everything changes. Today we're going to be talking Cody news and updates. So stay tuned. Some of my favorite can't live without Google Chrome extension is a known security issue. I am the Mac News. Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Mac Mage and back for video number two in this series. So what we're doing is preparing to install something I've been waiting for for a very long time. And I'm trying to set you guys up so that when you, uh, when we finally do the third video uh, in this series, you will have everything you need to use the add-on correctly because it is a big one, guys. Um, so what I'm going to talk to you guys about in this video are the add-ons that are recommended for um, use in conjunction with this particular add-on. So if you um, look here, I have my list of uh, Kodi add-ons and you'll see Metallic which we just installed um, and then I also have oh, where is it now? C Cloud and Channel Pair. Um, those are good to have. I've talked about them. Um, a lot of times in the past so I'm sure you guys have had them or at least have heard about them by now if you watch my videos regularly those are also good to use with this particular add-on another add-on that is good to use is uh, meta meta um, along with even though you have metallic because they are both going to help you search for places where you can um, locate certain things for this add-on and I don't mean to be vague but I don't want to spoil the surprise so uh, just make sure you have those add-ons the best way to install meta is through their repository and I'm going to leave the link for the meta team repository in the description below it is a manual add-on link so if you remember from uh, I believe the Jericho add-on where we learned to install and I'll put the video in the cards here uh, where we learn to manually install an add-on that's what you're going to be doing with this meta team repository so this is going to be a direct download meaning that it is going to download straight away onto your computer uh, so that you can import the Kodi import this add-on into Kodi so save it to your desktop or it'll be in your downloads folder wherever you de designate your downloads to go and then just add it from there like you would any other repository. If you need a refresher, again, the video will be in the cards. Go ahead and check that out, and that'll show you how to do it. Um, so in the next video, I'm actually going to show you what the add-on is. So I just want to make sure you have these add-ons as far as C-Cloud and um, Channel Pair. You can get those with Fusion and I'll have the Fusion link below. You guys should know it by now, but just in case, I don't like to assume. So uh, the link for Fusion will be in the description as well. So hopefully these will help you get off to a great start with the next add-on, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.